Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Oxford Aqua Evo 22 litre backpack. If lightweight is your key priority for a bike rucksack, then this one from Oxford could be exactly what you're looking for. It's made from a lightweight tarpaulin-like material that has taped seams to keep it waterproof, and that also keeps it under a kilogram in weight. We weighed this one at 800 grams when it was empty, which is impressive considering there's actually 22 liters of storage capacity inside there. It does up at the top with a waterproof roll top closure. So you roll over the top and then clip down the two sides to fasten it up and then rain can't get in through the top closure. The clips both have adjustment straps to suit rolling the bag down to different heights depending on how much stuff you've got loaded inside. Having three clips here instead of two would have given me an extra feeling of security that the top was rolled over properly. But the downside of having three clips like that is that it takes longer to get to your stuff on the inside and it also takes longer to get everything back in again. There's a water resistant pocket on the back of the bag the zip is sealed, but the fact it's called water resistant rather than waterproof suggests you're probably better off keeping vulnerable stuff in the main compartment if you want to make sure it stays dry. If you are going to try your best to keep stuff in that pocket dry, then make sure to poke the zip puller as far as you can into this bit here, which is called the zip garage, and that should hold out water for longer. The back surface of the bag also has plenty of light reflective material on it to help you stay visible to following traffic at night. The light from a following car's headlight will bounce off these strips that curve from the top corner of the bag to the bottom and then extend around the side to give you good coverage of light reflectiveness on all sides. And if you want a real belt and braces approach to lighting, you could always attach a red LED light to these loops at the bottom of the bag just here. This bag's also sold to cyclists and those loops let them put a cycle light on the back for extra visibility. On the front surface of the bag, there's a carrying loop at the top and then there's foam padding here to keep it comfortable against your back and also let air circulate so you don't overheat. I spent a few hundred miles wearing this rucksack on my Yamaha Phaser and I always found it comfortable against my back. The straps for this are quite light but they're padded well enough and they're comfortable in use. They've also got small light reflective bands on each strap to help oncoming traffic pick you out but that's probably more useful when you're using it off the bike or on a push bike as I'd have thought the dirty great headlight on the front of your motorbike should probably help you stand out while you're riding. The chest strap just here stops the shoulder straps from separating too much in the wind blast. And you can adjust the height of this strap really easily to get the most comfortable position for you. On some rucksacks, it's a bit of a fiddle to change the height of this strap, but on this one, it's really easy. You just slide it up and down to suit where you want it to be. There's a bit of elastication in it too, which helps it expand when you need a little bit more room inside. There's no retainer for the loose end of this strap, but I didn't actually find that to be a problem when I was riding with this rucksack. It didn't flick around and get in the way. The waist belt at the bottom is wide and it's strong and it clips together with a really sturdy clasp. I found it a little bit too easy to get this strap twisted, but thankfully the clasp in the middle will secure even if you've not got the strap straight. So it's not a really a big problem. There's plenty of room inside this strap. At maximum extension, it measures 50 inches from clasp end to clasp end. So if you're 50 inches or less around the middle, then this strap will go around you. If you're less than 50 inches around the middle, then there are neat Velcro loops that help you retain the excess just here. They secure the loose ends to the strap and make it much easier to adjust the length of the belt. This clasp here, when it's fastened, it sits quite high. So I'd say it should always stay clear of your tank unless you're getting hunched right over the front of your bike. You could, in theory, offset that clasp to one side or the other, but then you'd have a long excess of strap on one side and there'd be no way of securing that in place and stopping it flapping around. Now let's talk about the inside. Usually with a roll top waterproof bag like this, you just have one big cavernous space in there with no way of organizing your stuff. But this bag's a bit better than that. Oxford have fitted an organizing compartment within here to help you be tidy with your bits and pieces. It's secured into the main compartment with Velcro, which means I can pull one out and show it to you. There's room for a laptop, for a tablet or a notepad, something phone sized, a couple of pens, and then there's also a zipped mesh pocket just here. And the whole compartment's padded which helps protect your stuff. And it also gives the bag a bit more structure inside than you get from most bags of this sort of construction. So that covers the bag and what it does. I found it to be a decent bag in my time with it out on the road. So my left shoulder and my neck give me jip from an old injury. So running normal shoulder straps like these rather than a bag with a chest harness has been a, bit, a little bit awkward, but that's a subjective thing. And it's a general thing about rucksacks. And as conventional rucksacks like this one go, this is actually pretty decent has the waterproof qualities of a roll top bag. It's got the practicalities of an internal organizer compartment, and it's also lighter than the bags that you get from the posh brands. At £89.99, it's also a little bit cheaper than those exclusive high-end brands. I 
I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Oxford Aqua Evo 22 litre backpack. But if there isn't a thing you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.